And I call the member for Durack. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker, as we head towards Christmas, it's timely to think about those for whom Christmas Day will just be any other day, nothing special, um, just a struggle to keep a roof over your children's head, you know, put a meal on the table and to keep them safe. So I think it's a good reminder for all of us as we stand here. Um, today I'm presenting a petition regarding the activities of a charity called Feed the Little Children in Broome, which is in Durack and has been approved by the Petitions Committee. I'm pleased to present this petition to the House and commend the work of Principal Petitioner Clinton Durham. This petition in support of Feed the Little Children charity has been signed by residents, primarily Aboriginal women, uh, from the beautiful coastal town of Broome on the Kimberley coast of Western Australia. The petition draws attention to the, to the House that many Aboriginal women are struggling to maintain household food security for their children and families for a range of complex historical, social, cultural and economic reasons and often their children go hungry. These Aboriginal children face higher risks from general health, mental health issues and imprisonment than any other children. We've heard that a lot in this house in the last 12 months. Children who are always hungry cannot function properly. This is why there are so many school breakfast programs. Food and shelter must come first. They are basic needs. The petition representing the Aboriginal women says that, and I quote, our children are 13.4 times more likely to be recorded in child protection statistics than non-Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander children. We strongly support the activity being carried out by Feed the Little Children charity that helps us maintain household food security for our children. Deputy Speaker, the signatories to the petition ask that the House please help our Aboriginal women and children in our struggles by, and I quote, providing urgent funding resources and data to feed the Little Children charity so that they can continue to keep their doors open and assist mothers and children. Secondly, conduct an investigation to confirm or deny that the charity does in fact positively impact juvenile crime, health and wellbeing, school attendance and the poverty cycle. And thirdly, provide a memorandum of understanding between relevant government agencies and the Feed the Little Children charity primarily for access to, in accordance with legislation, sanitised aggregated data relating to health, mental health, crime, child protection and so on, in order to help collect quantitative evidence of the positive impacts of the charity. I commend the work of the Feed the Little Children charity and the petition to the House. I thank the member um, and the petition will be collected.